Hello, this is Logan Murphy, and for this video, we're going to be logging in a customer. So, we're going to use the same page we use to log in a staff person. So, first thing you should add is another table row, and this will say um, account type. And I'm just going to use a select, which is just like a drop down box, which has a bunch of options. And there's going to be two options customer, which is the default, staff, which is the alternative. And we got to give this a name. And I'm going to name it the account. Okay, so go see what this looks like. Go to Sequila. And go to Login. And so it's option, no options. So you can choose your account type and then choose to log in. So where do we actually use this? If else if. So we're gonna just see if the value from account is equal to staff then we'll do our original query that logs the staff person in and if it's customer we'll log customer in. So before we can actually do that we need to take a look at our database. So you want to right click on customer and do alter table. Press this up arrow so you can have more space and scroll down to the bottom and you can add a new column called the past call password and it's be varchar32 it's not allowed to be null well actually for now it'll be null because we're just adding it now um, Okay, so apply that. Okay. All right. Now let's go to SQL Editor. Just type update customer set password equal to today. And the reason I'm doing that is because if you look at customer table. It has this new column password in which everything is null. So I'm just going to update everything and set the password of everything to today. Okay. We do a refresh. Scroll over. Everything has the password of today. Pretty simple. Now that we've done that, we're allowed to make this not null now and apply it. Closes, don't save. Um, so we need to use the email and we need to use the password. And when we do that, we get the customer ID. So we use the email, password, and we get customer ID. Okay. 
And we're going to do a similar if right here. Similar else if and instead of using session staff equal staff ID customer. So pretty much all we're doing is if it's staff we do this query and we get this table. As a customer, we do this query and get this table. So we'll get one of the two tables. If we get one of the two tables, then we'll get the row from that table. We'll see if there's a row. And depending on which query we did, whether we did the staff one, still basing it on this post, or if we did the customer one, we will set the appropriate session. Because we don't want to confuse staff people with customers. So we're using customer value instead of the staff value. So now that we can log someone in, let's do a test. Let's go to header. So template header. And right now this has a query that's to test for staff ID. So take a look at our tables. So conveniently customer table has a first and a last name so that makes things a little bit easier. Just going to change this to uh, ID and we're going to see if session staff else if session customer and our variable in PHP will equal this session variable that we want to use. This will be customer. And instead of using staff ID here, we'll just use ID. And we'll do a similar if. Just tab that out. This is for. Session staff if session customer. And we can select this from customer. And this is where customer ID equals ID. And this should be ID using this variable ID. It might be the customer sometimes, it might be the staff ID sometimes, it depends on who's logged in. They could potentially both be logged in, but we'll fix that in a minute. Scroll down. So this is using the first and last name, which both of these tables have a first and a last name, so we don't need to do anything about that. So let's see if this works. So let's just look at a customer table. And it wants the email of a customer. And the password is today. And we are a customer. Click login. Seems like we're logged in because this disappeared, but so.
So let's do something. Go to login.php. We also want to redirect if there's a customer value. That way we're not allowed to see this page if we're logged in. So we try to go to this page. So I'll do type today. Type login. Or click login. So since it's not redirecting, that means that we're not logging in. So we should look at our queries. Make sure this is all correct. So let's just make sure we're doing this. refresh okay so we got this far let's see if we can get this far okay so we're not going inside of this if see if we're even getting a row We're not even getting a row. So let's just look at our query. Select customer from customer ID. That's wrong. Select customer ID from customer. Login. There. Now it says hello, Mary Smith. I mean, this pretty much serves the purpose. A customer can now log in using the same login page that a staff person uses. They just gotta tell the system that they're. Well, actually, we need to log out too. Which we might actually do already, but let's just take a look at the logout page. So, yeah, we do just destroy and set to an empty array, so that's good. Um, so, if I log out. This is gone, so let's do something about that. The reason that it's gone is because this if never happens, and this else if never happens because no one's logged in right now. So this table never gets set. This table never gets set. So this table, we're testing to see if there's a table. There's not a table, so that's exactly what's supposed to happen. If there's no table, then there's a stranger. Okay, so do we refresh. And now we can log in. And log in as wherever you want. The login is case sensitive, so you will have to type this exactly as it is. Caps lock and lowercase and whatnot. And the password's also case sensitive. Um Yeah, so that's it. Uh, this is logging in with a customer. Uh, I'm Logan Murphy, and I'll see you next time.